as soon as I came out here, these feeders, these uh, these bees start laying on because they're looking for a spot to uh, take that artificial pollen, and they shove it down those little little uh, pouches that they have, and uh, kind of interesting how they. <clears throat> and that's why you'll see them out here on the ground. They'll, uh, they'll grab a bunch out of the feeder. And then they'll stop. And cram that stuff down in their pouches. Before they take off. Of course there's the geese. The zillion animals following me. Hey everybody, this is David Barnyard Bees. I didn't do my intro yet, did I? Just down here with the feeder again, just I like to keep track of the the bees, how they're feeding. Try to explain stuff if I think of something that uh, people don't uh, quite understand, or you know, I had a couple of people comment saying their bees are bringing in pollen, and not from a pollen feeder, but just bringing in pollen in general. Now that doesn't always mean that they're bringing in pollen from flowers. They may very well be, but just like this right here, you can see this is artificial pollen, and you can't tell once they get it rammed down in those little sacks in their legs, those little storage pouches that they have, you can't tell whether this come from a flower or what it come from, really, because it looks just like pollen that you would see from a flower, because all pollen you know, from different sources is different color. There's some that's dark, there's some that's yellow, there's some that's red, bright red. Of course, yellow, gold, uh, it just, there, it varies in color. And uh, this is kind of a, a light orange color. And uh, if your bees are feeding from somebody's corn bin, uh, it could look the same. You could look and say, well, they're bringing in pollen yeah, they're probably, they're probably bringing it in from somebody's feed bin. So there's so many sources out there for the bees to to eat from. I got bees landing all over my head right now. Because like I said, they'll land wherever they can find a landing spot and start cramming that stuff down in their little pouches. The bees on both hands. I can feel one crawling across my head. There goes a duck randomly running for no reason. And the geese are out grazing. They have food over there in that uh, food bin where the bees eat, but they follow me anyway and just looking for something to munch on. The grass has been really, really green this winter so far. Of course, we're not having bad bad freezes so we still have a lot a lot of grass so these geese love grazing on grass that's a good thing about geese or ducks in your garden these things love weeds they love eating weeds they won't bother your crops your tomatoes or anything like that they're just weed eaters and here comes the old fat ducks just running back these ducks here are really good probably the best two ducks i've ever had they're uh they're really friendly. I mean, they won't come right up to you, but they are pretty friendly ducks. Uh, they're fat. I have no idea what kind they are. I just know they're big and fat. And they like to eat. And, of course, the goats, they, they start screaming yelling when you come down here. Just had fed them late yesterday evening. So I know they got feed and hay in there, but when they see you, they start crying. And but just thought I'd show you around the bee yard today. Just another beautiful day, and these bees are out, and it just uh, I just love seeing them. It, it makes you wish for spring to hurry up and get here. But I got a lot of work to do in the bee yard. I got to go back through and straighten out some of these boxes that are empty. But we have a lot of bees. There's a few, like I said, the splits didn't make, so I need to to get in there and, and work on those. But that's about it. I just wanted to show a little update and I was down here taking some pictures of the bees out of the feeder. I like getting some real close-up shots of the bees at different angles even at ground level taking pictures of them but it's really nice. It's nice out today. It's 50 degrees right now. December 26th and 
Don't forget, we got bees for sale. Packages, nukes. Now's the time to order them. The way won't run out, so don't worry if you order them late. We got plenty of them. So that's about it. Don't forget, click on the little bell, like and subscribe. Don't forget about our chat coming in December 29th, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, be me, Joe May, and a few other knowledgeable beekeepers, and I'm sure we'll have hundreds of people showing up for that live it is a video chat it's a live it's a live feed video chat so if you don't want your face shown all you gotta do is turn your camera off and you can uh, you can join in that way just by by voice but that's about it don't forget like subscribe thanks for watching barnard bees quack